This is Tanks Vlog for June 11th, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. Probably the biggest story today was over in France, or as they like to say, France, where Rafael Nadal once again dominated on the clay surface. Beating Dominic Thiem, straight set, 6'4", 6'3", 6'2", for his 11th French Open title. On Saturday, uh, Selma Hayek, she won her first career Grand Slam. So it was a history-making weekend in Paris. And tennis is just so far off the American radar these days. I remember one time when tennis was huge. I... Can anyone explain what's happened to tennis over the last 30 years? Why it's just, like, faded into, like, people don't even really care anymore? I don't get it. All right, on Sunday night, the uh, Mets and Yankees uh, wrapped up the first <coughs> round of the Subway Series. Didn't look good for the Mets going in. Uh, Noah Syndergaard got scratched, so they had to have Seth Lugo on the mound. Now, Seth Lugo's pitched really good all year. The only question is, could he go deep? And he went deep enough. Six innings. Only allowed two hits. He had the Yankees off balance all day. And then Todd Frazier hit the big blast. A two-run shot. Once again, the Mets only score one inning. But this time around, it actually was enough. Robert Gazelman, two strong innings of relief. Anthony Swarzak got the save. Uh, line drive caught by Todd Frazier ended the game. So everything, the Mets basically, after a whole week of where nothing went right, had things go right for once, except for one thing. Jose, Jose, Jose. Now granted, he got a hit that set up Todd Frazier's home run, but God... You just, uh, when he straddled a bag and that double play didn't happen in the eighth inning, oh, you just knew. You just had that feeling, uh, uh oh, here we go. But uh, the Mets, Gazelman worked out of it, bailed out Jose Reyes, bailed out Jose Reyes from what would have been the raft of tank. Because I tell you what, I tell you what, This would have been Luis Castillo part duh if the Mets had lost after Jose Reyes straddled the bag like a moron. He got two errors on that play. He actually got two errors on that play. One, because he straddled the bag because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing because he should retire. And two, because he threw the ball away. And because Astrubal Cabrera got hurt, now he's probably going to be around forever. I think Jose Reyes does voodoo. He does voodoo. That's the only solution. He does voodoo. Who do voodoo? He do voodoo. You know, it, it's gotta be voodoo. It's gotta be voodoo. Every time he's about to get released, someone else gets hurt. And now they've released Adrian Gonzalez. Now, Gonzalez wasn't doing great, but he's doing a lot better than Jose Reyes! And now they call up Dom Smith, who is gonna show just how much Dom Smith stinks! Uh, he's a 25-year-old move on. He's a 25-year-old move on. And not in a good way. I'm talking to move on. Not the good move on that was with the Red Sox. I'm talking to move on that was with the Mets. Except he has no power. He's a, he's a... Two home runs in Vegas where home runs come cheap. This is going to be really good. Ugh. They're also bringing up Ty Kelly. When's Wilmer Flores coming back? Maybe Wilmer, they, they can mercifully get rid of Jose Reyes. But thankfully, the Mets won tonight, so they didn't have to s s suffer the indignity of being swept at home by the Yankees. Now, next month, they play in the Bronx. Mets now go on the road. They have to go to uh, Atlanta again. And Arizona, another place they don't play well. 
<sighs> Swing low, sweet chariot. Season is all begun. Swing low, sweet chariot. Come home to bring more misery. The Yankees did not lose any ground tonight, though, because the Red Sox were beaten by the White Sox 5-2. It was the Blue Jays clobbering the Orioles 13-3. Only one team loses to the Baltimore Orioles, and that's the Mets. The Indians clobbered the Tigers 9-2. The Reds doubled up the Cardinals 6-3. Clayton Richardson floated with a no-hitter as the Padres beat the Marlins 3-1. It was the Mariners beating the Rays 5-4. The Phillies over the Brewers 4-3. The Twins beat the Angels 7-5. The Pirates clobbered the Cubs 7-1. The Astros edged the Rangers for a sweep, 8-7. The Diamondbacks busted the Rockies, 8-3. The A's over the Royals, 3-2. And the Giants. The Giants blanked the Nationals, 2-0, handing Max Scherzer just his second loss of the year. And it was the Dodgers, 7-2 winners over the Braves. Today's three stars are Seth Lugo of the Mets, Curtis Granderson of the Blue Jays with six RBI against the Orioles, and Brandon Carford who went four for four as the Giants beat the Nationals. Today's birthday shout out goes to Joe Montana, who turned 62. You thought I was going to give a birthday shout to Jose Reyes? Wrong! He's allegedly 35 today, but I think that's 35 Celsius. He looks more like 39, 41, 43 out there. And we take a look back to 1997. When Michael Jordan played with the flu and beat the Jazz in a pivotal game five. You see, back then, the greatest of all time didn't make excuses. He went out there sick as a dog, played his heart out, puked his guts out, gave everything, almost collapsed at the end of the game. He didn't put on a fake cast since his hand was broken the last three games. Good day!